do you enjoy your job yeah i mean yeah i like meeting the new tenants and whatnot so are you happy in life yeah yeah, yeah, yeah i'm happy but like i always want a bit more you know what i mean but like, i don't get up in the morning like in the last I, I, I don't ever get up and think fuck my life like i know someone i know a chick that used to say that She's like, oh, you don't know what depression is like. Depression is like when you get up in the middle of in the morning, you're like, fuck my life. I'm like, rah. <laughs> but why, but why is your life depressing? You're not working, you're in some shitty basement flat that has no natural light coming in. Yeah. Of course you're gonna be fucking depressed. You have no money, you're on benefits. Of course you're gonna be depressed. This this stuff is situational. How the, how the hell do you expect to not be depressed? Living in a basement flat, you're broke, you're in a social housing, you've got some people above you that are just some mad neighbours above you making up noise and that. Of course you're going to be fucking depressed. But why are you in that position? Because you ain't put the fucking work in. Yeah, so, so this guy said there's some rich people who are depressed. Yeah, do you know do you know why there's some rich men who are depressed? Because they get broken up with with uh, they get broken up by a woman. A woman breaks up with them, and they can't get them back. There's some people. It don't matter what situation they're in, and that doesn't matter how good their life is going on paper financially. They'll look in the mirror and still see a piece of shit. Of course, you're gonna be depressed if you go and see a psychiatrist or a therapist. They're gonna keep you in that state of depression. Why? Because they want your fucking money. There's a barber in the chat right now. Harvey Trims. Big him up. I don't even know. He might be a shit barber, but big him up anyway still. He might do that mad hairline that go like that, but yeah, big him up still. He would not make any money if he cut a man's hair one time and it was a permanent haircut for the rest of his life. He needs reoccurring customers. So, when people who are celebrities that end up in therapy and that, the, the, I don't care what they what anyone says. They're telling them stuff and giving them pills and drugs to keep them in a depressive state. Why? So they keep coming back. Imagine, imagine being a, a PT, a personal trainer. You give someone one training session and they're fit for life. They look like fucking action man for life or superman for life. You want them to keep coming back. Now there are certain personal trainers out there that lim that you know limit people's progress and that so that they keep coming back. That that that's fucked. But there's people out there they don't quite get them to the stage that they really need to get to because they won't see them again. So that's that's the reason why certain people, certain celebrities and that celebrity men and that are depressed. They got broken up with by a woman. You can, It doesn't matter what you want. Look at fucking Kanye West. He got dumped by Kim, yeah? He tried to get one chick that looked just like her or tried to make her look like her. You can't, no matter what you do, there's only one of everybody, yeah? My girl, it's impossible for her to meet someone just like me. Yeah, I'm not saying there's guys that are just like me out there. There are guys, but what's the chance of her meeting, meeting them? You understand know what I'm trying to say? So there's only one of you. So it doesn't matter how rich you are, you cannot buy a personality. You can't. These things are natural. Yeah, it's not man-made. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You cannot buy someone's personality in that. So no amount of money can make this person come back into your life and show you love. So that's why some of these rich celebrity men and that are, are, are depressed because they can't get back that woman that they want. Like I said, look at um, Kanye West. He tried to make a woman look like his ex. That's some kind of like Texas chainsaw leather face type of, you know, not so graphic sort of bullshit. And now you're trying to make your new girl look like your ex, blah. So this, this is the bullshit that people, people do. So yeah, so celebrity men, the reason why a lot of them are depressed is because they got broken up with by some woman and they can't get her back. They can get, you can always get a hotter woman. You can get a woman with a bigger BBL or bigger boob job, whatever, and that, but you can't get back that personality. You can't get back those stupid little inside jokes. 
Me and my girl have plenty of inside jokes. It, I can't, it, I don't even know any off the top of my head. I can't even remember at this moment. But just stupidness, just stupid little inside jokes. I could, let's say I broke up with my girl today and we didn't talk for 10 years. If I phoned her up, which I wouldn't, you know, the woman has to phone me if I break up with them, but, you know, I could say something and she'll know that, that that's Jay. That must be Jay. I could send her a text message from an anonymous number. She'll know that that's, that's Jay. So you can't buy back people. You can't buy people. Like I said, certain people, no matter how good they get in life, how well they're doing financially on paper and that, they'll still look in the mirror and feel like a piece of unfulfilled shit. That's it. Plus, you got people going into therapy, seeing these therapists and that, they're giving them drugs that keep them depressed. And then they're talking about all their problems and that. Festering in their childhood problems and that. So that, that, that's why some rich people are, 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 are depressed. Is there one or two people walking planet Earth? They actually have something wrong with their brain. Yeah. So that's why they're depressed. But most people, no.